So we're crossing the long bridge over Lake Ponderay on the way into Sandpoint. And as you can see, there's water all around us on both sides. The bridge you can see over to the right is where uh, coal and shale oil trains pass. And uh, it's a beautiful area. A bridge over which 1.6 million pound megaloads hauled by Mammut may pass over public waters and possibly risk the bridge integrity as well as uh, the possibility of sedimentation into public waters. So you can actually see a train passing on the uh, bridge right now. It actually looks like it's sitting on the bridge, not moving. And uh, this bridge feels pretty, pretty worn. This is where it connects with land again, it would appear. And there's parts of the bridge uh, where there's an older structure that just goes alongside it. That isn't the case here now that we're on sort of a, an extension of land. And again, you can see that other parallel bridge. And we are entering the city of Sandpoint. And actually taking the bypass we're not really sure the megalodes make some kind of maneuver in this area where they have to go north on the southbound ramp. So I'm assuming they took a left right back there and they would be hanging down ever so briefly into the town of Sandpoint, which is below us on the left. And then the leg, of course, is still on our right. Uh, they reconnect with this uh, bypass. It's probably right here, actually. Right before this bridge. And there's uh, water on both sides at this point. There's sort of a side wetland of the lake on the left. And even though there's development on the right, it's just this th thin strip of development. Uh, and then the lake's on the left, or on the right, excuse me. Now we're in the town of Ponderay. Sort of heavy morning rush hour traffic here. Schweitzer ski area straight ahead and above. And we're assuming the loads would be using this whole stretch once they do that on and off maneuver. Probably to avoid a bridge that doesn't have capacity near downtown Sandpoint. Hey, an oversized load. Look at there. 